Hello, I'm Vasan Nanjan Deshwaran, Senior Director of Product Management for Automotive Cockpit Solutions at Qualcomm Technologies. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you and thank you for joining us in delving a bit deeper into the Gen 4 cockpit announcement that was made earlier today. I hope at the end of the session, you have a better understanding of the trends in the auto industry, where Qualcomm Technologies is investing and driving solutions that dovetail with the trends and what our customers can look forward in our Gen 4 platform. The automotive industry is at the inflection point of a major change and evolution of to new electrical engineering architectures. These changes have significant impact to the overall evolution of the next generation cockpit designs and significant changes in the platform required to support them. In the next 20 minutes, we'll take a closer look at how Qualcomm Technologies plans to address this upcoming architectural change. There are three major trends that drive the evolution of the car architecture. Macro automotive trends that are global, and then are micro trends that are specific to cockpit and ADAS architectures. The macro automotive trends include the drive to electrification, growth of autonomous driving, and the ever increasing ramp of connected cars, and lastly, the shared car experience. All these macro trends are mileposts in the march towards the software defined car of the future one that provides dynamic configuration of the car and pushes the transformation of a mechanical, hardware-centric vehicle to a software device on wheels. The macro trends, in turn, influence the ADAS and cockpit domain architectures. The ADAS domain complexity rises as we move from L2 to L5, thereby necessitating the need for higher perception, cameras, radars, and other sensors. Similarly, the complexity on the cockpit domain is also increasing. Higher resolution displays, streaming media content to occupant displays, and in-car monitoring services all contribute to the growing complexity in the cockpit domain. Together, these micro and macro trends drive the adoption of a new EE architecture, the zonal compute architecture. The current EE architectures can also be termed as a traditional or a central gateway-driven architecture. These are modular designs with multiple 50 to 100 ECUs or embedded control units in a car, each of them with a specific function. For example, battery management ECUs, environmental or climate control ECUs, each interfacing with a vehicle and gateway. This central gateway is slowly being replaced by the domain controller architecture. These domain controllers consolidate the function of multiple ECUs. A perfect example is the current generation of cockpit domain controllers which seamlessly meld the functionality of IBI, cluster, HUD, rear seat, audio processing functions into one ECU that interacts with a vehicle backbone, CAN, or in some advanced solutions, Ethernet-based backbone. The domain controller is now commonplace due to the inherent advantages of lower cost due to ECU consolidation, reduced cabling, and weight costs, and the leveraging the advantages of silicon innovations thereby providing the optimum performance power trade-off. But the domain controller architecture has its limitations in addressing the growing complexity of ADAS and cockpit domains and the burgeoning software complexity. And hence, the EE architecture is evolving to a more centralized compute or zonal architecture. This zonal architecture is defined by the need for a homogeneous compute solution that allows for reuse of hardware and software resources and the zone controller has the information for a specific zone. For example, cameras or radars that are then shared with the central computer. The key benefits of the zonal architecture is the reduced complexity of the compute domain, reduced cost due to the consolidation of various domain controllers into one central controller and reduced cabling costs. The reduced complexity and cost are the primary motivation in the adoption of this new zonal architecture. Now we can clearly see the automaker's motivation in adopting the zonal architecture. Let's take a closer look at the components of this zonal architecture. The main building block of this architecture is the central computer that provides the consolidation of cockpit, ADAS, gateway, body controller, ECUs, telematics, and wireless ECUs, amongst others. This central compute ECU will be paired with satellite ECUs or aggregators in the zone that provide legacy vehicle bus support. The central compute ECU will integrate high-speed serial link and new Ethernet topologies, including time-sensitive network to connect to the zones, thereby providing the multi-tens of gigabits of bandwidth with real-time communication support. The zones would in turn connect to external displays, 
cameras, audio sources and sinks, and high-speed actuators and sensors, including LiDAR and imaging radar. The software paradigm also shifts to real-time oriented hypervisors, increasing security needs as well as legacy code and app support, and additionally, the safety separation needed for the aggregation of these various domains. The zonal architecture can be further enhanced to provide the scalability needs by using a blade-like design. Each of the blades would comprise of homogeneous compute SOCs that can serve as multipurpose SOCs, for ADAS or IVI, or an IVI plus ADAS focused SOCs that can scale the performance as desired or provide redundant compute resources for further safety app aggregation. The pictured modular zone, com zonal compute blade server, it's a step in the direction of the software defined car. Now let's look at how Qualcomm Technologies plans to provide compute solutions to address this evolving landscape. We announced our Gen 4 cockpit platforms earlier today. These platforms are designed as a homogeneous solution to address the transition to a zonal architecture, serving as a central hub for high-performance compute, computer vision, AI, and multi-sensor processing. It also features a scalable and flexible software architecture that melds the functional and safety needs of the next generation cockpit. With its enhanced compute and processing capabilities, the new digital cockpit platforms are now one of the most comprehensive solutions in the automotive industry designed to provide the best in class in vehicle experiences, as well as safety, comfort, and reliability, raising the bar for digital cockpit solutions in the automotive industry. The Gen 4 platform is designed in industry leading five nanometer process. The advanced process technology coupled with our patented microarchitecture techniques are designed to provide the unmatched performance and power that is needed for the next gen compute solutions. We've built and enhance the performance of the graphics and display pipeline to enable the next generation of clusters, heads up displays, and central displays. Similarly, the multimedia pipeline has also been enhanced to stream content across multiple screens, including sharing high resolution content to rear seat displays. The newly added safety infrastructure is designed to meet the safety needs for the zonal evolution. Our Gen 3 solutions were heralded for their scalable software solutions from top to bottom and we extend the same scalable software framework to Gen 4. Gen 4 platforms are designed to support a flexible feature and performance upgrade using the Qualcomm Car to Cloud platform, thereby extending the scalability and flexibility offered by the Gen 4 platform post-deployment. So what are the building blocks of these platforms? We continue our heterogeneous design methodology which allows for specific hardware blocks to provide dedicated processing and acceleration for specific functions. The integrated AI engine provides for acceleration for any machine learning, AI, or vision processing use cases. This engine also provides for any personalization needed for occupants, including natural language understanding, climate control, audio and personal settings, and adaptive HMI concepts. We also have specific vision and perception accelerators such as the Embedded Vision Accelerator that combines with our integrated ISP to provide the necessary camera processing capabilities, whether it's for in-cabin monitoring or around-the-car camera processing. The platform also features a newly integrated safety manager and security subsystem that provides a safety monitoring and support for functional safety and security needs. These blocks provide independent acceleration for specific functions while the integrated Qualcomm Cryo Octa-Core CPU subsystem provides high-performance command, control, and sequencing of all tasks, and providing the virtualization support that's needed to isolate and separate safety-critical and non-safe applications. To serve the needs of a content-rich multimedia in-vehicle experience, we've customized our graphics, video, and display processing units. Qualcomm Adreno GPUs provide the best power performance for GPU acceleration in the industry and they're designed to deliver the best-in-class rendering engine for the next generation of wide, ultra-wide, or even panoramic displays that are then processed and composited by an independent display engine. Premium streaming content can be decoded, decrypted, and processed by our video and audio processing blocks. So you can see how this heterogeneous architecture provides the fabric for the multi-domain zonal architecture of the future. Now let's look at the software support for our Gen 4 platforms. We'll continue to provide a flexible, scalable software platform with comprehensive support for popular high-level operating systems, real-time operating systems, and hypervisors to support virtualization and separation of domains. 
The board support package, PSP, will include support for the hardware engines, along with APIs for customers to take advantage of the underlying hardware. We'll also be providing software development kits, SDKs, for using our powerful artificial intelligence and machine learning accelerators, advanced camera, computer vision, and imaging pipelines. The platform supports many pre-integrated and optimized middleware and BSP solutions, including driver monitoring, surround, and early rear view camera, and multi-mic and multi-zone audio solutions. The cross-tier scalability that we provided in our Gen 3 platforms also extends to the Gen 4 portfolio, addressing a key pain point for our OEMs and Tier 1s, software scalability across different tiers. The three tiers of the Gen 4 portfolio, Performance, Premier, and Paramount, they scale from top to bottom with the same software infrastructure, thereby providing a seamless transition from one tier to the other. While the use cases enabled by the three SOCs are similar, the performance varies from a few 4K displays to a wall of displays or a panoramic stitched display at the premium end of the performance scale. Similarly, the number of cameras and audio pre and post processing vary from left to right, as does the AI performance in terms of tops. This scalable portfolio allows our automakers to further consolidate additional functionality into the cockpit domain, regardless of the tier or the part selected. We've addressed the scalability conundrum, but how about the other pain point that OEMs face? The flexibility to upgrade features post-deployment. Qualcomm Car to Cloud Platform solves this issue quite neatly. It provides the customer with the flexibility to start their production with a particular SKU or tier of performance. And then based on the feature requirements, Qualcomm's Car, Car to Cloud allows for upgrades to reflect the features of that Gen 4 platform lineup. It is not limited to performance upgrades solely. One could upgrade on-demand features over the air, content, applications, services such as marketplace on the go. It provides our customers with the flexibility to start with a lower investment upfront and then provides the optionality of improving performance in the field. How do you get your hands on the Gen 4 platform? Our reference platforms will be available from May 2021, allowing our customers to use our reference design to kickstart their next generation cockpits. These reference kits will also be available with our reference software stack. And yes, it's designed to scale along with the platform, providing our customers with a reference design for all tiers. It's coming to you very soon. Now, we've seen the evolution of their EE architecture, the SOC fabric that drives this evolution. But what about the user experience? What can the end user ex expect in terms of the cockpit of the future? With every generation of our cockpit solutions, we've provided a high performance, highly integrated cockpit platform for our customers. The Gen 4 platforms are designed to continue this innovation and deliver a rich multimedia, including premium content streaming, multitude of displays, camera integration, and audio zones with en engine sound cancellation or enhancement, and personalized sound bubbles. With the integration of safety critical foundational IPs and heavy AI accelerators and a software framework, the driver is provided a safe, protected, and distraction-free experience in the car while the rest of the passengers can enjoy a media-rich journey. Our Gen 4 platforms are designed to drive this confluence of compute, comfort, and consolidation in the car. We look forward to bringing our platform to you very soon. In conclusion, we would like to emphasize our excitement in announcing our Gen 4 cockpit platforms, accelerating the march to the next-gen EE architecture. We hope we were able to shed some light on our platform capabilities, and if you have any further questions, please reach out to us through your local sales and regional leads. For further details on any of the other technologies tied to Snapdragon cockpit solutions, such as localization, Wi-Fi, Qualcomm Snapdragon Write platform, cellular V2X, 5G technologies, and Qualcomm Car to Cloud platform, please refer to the sessions hosted by my colleagues, sharing their expertise in these areas. From everyone at Qualcomm Technologies, I want to thank you for spending your time with us today and we hope you enjoy the rest of our Automotive Redefined Technology Showcase event. Good day.